Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. I wanted to show you a cool technology that we're working on for the future of local adjustments. Local adjustments let you paint in or paint out or use the gradient masking tools to apply the most common adjustments. We've added a new adjustment in here. Let's go to local adjustments for noise. You can decrease or increase noise locally now. Let's take a look at this photo a little closer. Here's a picture of Johnny. Shot it on my iPhone. There's a lot of noise in it. I like the noise in the detailed areas. That's part of the character that makes up the photo. I don't like it as much in the window. So what I want to do is I want to reduce the noise in the window area. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just added that local adjustment. I'm going to turn my noise all the way down. And then all I do is I just start to paint over the noisy areas and it will paint that noise away just like this. There you go. You can see how easy it is to reduce that noise locally. If I turn on my mask overlay here, I can actually see the areas that I'm at and that might help me to fine tune this a little bit. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be perfect either. As long as I'm reducing the objectionable areas of the noise, I'm getting my mission across. There we go. Let me turn that mask off and you can see how we've reduced that noise in the window just like that. There it is with the noise and without. Let me zoom in a little closer so you can see that better. There's the noise from the original photo. Bring it down, I can reduce the noise. Or let's say I want to add noise, I can turn it up and I actually increase the amount of noise instead. Just like that. I might reduce that noise and then maybe combine it with another adjustment. Maybe I want to make it a little bit brighter outside. So I'm going to increase the exposure in that area a little bit. Maybe bring the detail down so it's a little softer outside. There we go. Before and after. There we go. Those local adjustments are a super powerful way to really tune the photo to your tastes. And now you've got a few more tools in your tool set for doing it. Thanks for watching.